Hey guys, welcome back for an episode of Spyro Year of the Dragon. Last episode we did the fireworks factory and today we're going to be heading to Charmed Ridge. Ridge? Charmed Ridge, there we go. And this level is actually pretty interesting because it's actually got two skill points. So it's very rare you see a level where there's actually more than one skill point. And this is one of those levels where there is in fact two skill points, which I'm excited for because I love two skill points, but... Hello there, Zoe. Spyro, we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. Oh no, it's not Zoe, but it looks exactly like Zoe. Oh, I just remembered we do not have sparks as well, which is annoying. So we're going to have to click, click all these gems, out, gems ourselves. But there is two skill points this level, which is why I want to get this one done out of the way, just so I don't forget. Because skill points are one of those things where you can easily miss them. You really can. And I don't really want to miss him if I don't have to. God damn it, don't you dare kill me. To, to, to be honest, if we did die now, I wouldn't be too fussed. But I'm actually really glad to be back in this level. Because, well, this game in general. Because there's been so many rumors going around recently about the Spyro trilogy. And as I'm recording this, still nothing has, has, has appeared. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, he almost, he almost got me there. He almost got me. And also, we can easily fit through those bars. What the F, man? Okay, there is some extra lives over there, which I kind of want to get. Okay, where do we... Where the F do we go here? Like, oh, we can climb up top, can't we? Yeah, okay. I want to get those lives, because those lives actually do give us a quick spark, instant regen, which is fantastic. Oh, by the way, there's cats. My girlfriend would love this area. My girlfriend loves cats, if you're wondering, so she would be a massive fan of this. Oh my god, whoa, 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 whoa. they got the power to actually increase heights. Okay, that's a bit imp that's a bit impressive, isn't it? That is pretty impressive. Okay, give me that. Oh, oh god, okay, okay. This, this reminds me a lot like magic shapers or magic crafters from the first game, which is fantastic. Okay, I want to go over here and get these extra lives. Give me back Sparks, please. What up, Sparks? I'm glad to have you back. I'm glad to have you back indeed. So, uh, this level reminds me a lot like magic crafters from the first game, which is good and bad. Magic crafters is a great world, don't get me wrong, but for me personally, I wasn't really that much of a fan of it. I feel like it's too magical, you know, and, uh, and yeah, it reminds me a lot like that. Hurry, Spyro! If we don't get to the castle right away, the princess will be forced to marry that loser, Prince Azrael. Not Azrael? No, no, oh no, it's like... I, I find it funny how, like, these fairies think that we really care about who really marries who in this game, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter, if that makes sense. Like, if we save them, yes, of course, we'll get someone to help us out later on in the game, but right now, it's not really going to make that much difference, you know? And I, I'm not scared about saying that. But it makes you wonder. Okay, the, here's a quick question. Do you think Zoe's... Oh my god, ooh, ooh, god. Nice, uh, nice little attack there. Ooh, more oh, cost money bags here, isn't it? It makes you wonder, is Zoe's, like... Is Zoe from this area? That's what I'm trying to say. Is Zoe born in the wizard area? Also, I'm kind of glad that this chest piece does not kill us, because that, that would suck if it did. Come on, let me through now. Come on. Come on, stop stop being a meanie. Come on. Okay, let's get to drop. Come on, drop, drop, drop. Oh, wow. Okay. It does do damage. It does do damage. Also, I'm not going to lie, the camera angle when, when it focuses on that sucks. Can I get up there? No, there's gems up there, so there's got to be a way up there later on. Also, it looks like there's supposed to be something up there as well. There's not, but it looks like there, there possibly is. Okay, there we go. We got through. Bye. I'll meet you <laughs> I'll meet you later on. I'll come and get you later on. Don't worry. But yeah, so there's not really, really been that many rumors around Spyro, which is a bit disappointing. But let's actually talk to Moneybag and see what he's got to say. Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. Of course, Moneybag tries to get money out of anything. 600 gems to create some stairs. Fine. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. And uh, best of luck rescuing that princess. Or whatever it is you're up to. Wow. So before I actually continue this, I just want to check something really quick. I want to check how many gems are actually in this area. So I think it's going to be 600. Yeah, 606 eggs. That's fine. But uh, yeah, there's no news on the Spyro remake yet, which I'm really disappointed. Really? Really? Is that is that really this, this game's thing? This reminds me a lot like Magic Crafters more and more, which I'm kind of glad they actually did return back to their, their roots of this game, but I, I do miss um, Spyro 2's whole level design, but that's like part of the story, that. Like, cause I love Spyro 2. Spyro, Spyro 2 is my favorite Spyro. I mentioned this like in every single thing. By the way, can you see that egg in there? No, it's not an egg. It's someone's arm. Okay, so we can't actually go up there. So, I'm keeping my eyes open for any skill points, because there is two skill points. I'm pretty sure they're, they're going to be nearer the end. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, it's, 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 it's what, what, what just called? I don't know her name. What up? There is no time to lose. Prince Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal our poor princess. So why are you here? Why aren't these, like, directing me where to go? Like, 
it really makes me wonder, why are they not showing me where I need to be? Because, yeah, I'm just really curious, like, why are they just, like, loitering around? Like, if, if it was me, for example, okay, I feel like I know what I need to do here, so I need to use these platforms that you get higher up. Okay, it's fine. Okay, land, okay. Nice and slow, nice and slow. I don't want to mess up here. Okay, boom, get, get me up there. Nice, nice. So there is actually a... Oh, I saw an egg over there as well, which I, I need to get. Okay, I'm guessing this is the way we need to go over there as well. There's so many... We literally need to come up here like three times, but I'm going to go over here first. Okay, okay. The floor might be very useful here. Yes, it is. I, I could have probably made that without... Oh, God. Okay, okay. I see what we need to do here. Let's get rid of you. Boom, I'm not messing with you. I hate... I hate these magic guys, you know. To be honest, they're not as bad as the actual first game. Because the guys in the first game was horrendous. Like, I really did not like them. But let's, let's actually go through his portal here to see what minigame we've got to do here. Okay, ooh, it's, is that Robin Hood? I think it is. According to legends, there's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. Oh, so it's Jack and the Beanstalk. I see, I see. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Grow seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. He said they were magic, but I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple if you like. So this reminds me a lot like the level on Zephyr with, with the whole seeds where the seeds grow platforms. Is that right? Let's see. Yes, it is very much like that. I feel like that is the initial idea. Yeah, if you don't know, I love Zephyr, by the way. So it's kind of... I'd love to see like similar things between the games, you know. Especially with this thing, like, I, I really love the idea, like, I really do, okay. I guess that's gonna be bouncy. It's gotta it's got be bouncy, hasn't it? Okay, let's, let's try and see what happens when we're not doing it. Yeah, okay, it is bouncy. Okay, okay. And I'm guessing if we flame it, we, we, it will destroy it. So, uh, that's fine, okay. Yeah, flaming does destroy it. So, I wanna switch the eggs over, uh, not the eggs, the seeds over here, so we have the dandelion on one of them. I like this puzzle. I, I love it in the whole, um, Zephyr level in the second game. I know it's a totally different concept, and there's, a whole, like, a totally different mechanic with it, with the whole... The mushroom's actually a bit more bouncy, but it's still really fun. Like, I love that level, and it's probably one of my favorite levels in that game over there, Metropolis. So the fact that we're actually doing this again, it, it brings back like, so many good memories, you know? It really does. It really does. There's probably ways for you to actually do this without um, without the whole uh, siege. You could probably do some kind of, like, um, double jump, because if you know, there is a, a, um, a glitch in this game where you can do a hack jump, which I don't really want to show off, because I can't really do it myself, so that's why. But um, it's how speedrunners do it, they can get out of bounds really easy with it. Because the game isn't designed for you to have a double jump at all times. But uh, as you can see, it is very much, very similar to Zephyr with the whole against seeds. Ooh, there's actually a gate over there, which means we're going to have to come back through here later on to get th those uh, gems. But as you can see, we've actually been given another seed here, which is which is good and bad. It means that we're going to have to carry a seed with us for the rest of the level, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Let's come back and get this one over here. One thing to notice with these seeds, though, they do actually lock into the nearest hole, so you don't really have to get, like, a precise, a precise, oh, for God's sake, you don't really need to, need to get a precise jump on it. I also feel like they've actually designed these uh, mushrooms in a way where you get minimal height, like, you don't get maximum height, which makes it a lot easier to actually, oh, for God's sake, I'm failing this so bad, bad. They give you minimum height, so that way you don't really have to worry about actually breaking the game or sequence breaking, because I know Insomniac are very much, oh, for God's sake. Insomniac doesn't like people sequence breaking their games, uh, especially in the Ratchet and Clank series, because they hate that, but, you know, it's fine. There we go, we're actually made up here, now we can, we can plant this, boom, bam. Imagine if you mess it up, well, you can probably glide, glide over there from here, if I'm, if I'm honest, but I don't really want to try, because that'd be annoying, but, what up, Jack? How you doing? We made it up higher. <sighs> I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. Okay, then. Show me what it is. So, we have got Shelly. Shelly in a shell. Shell, shell. So, as I'm recording this, yesterday there was a big scandal around, um... Is he gonna say anything else? Here it is. You've been doing great so far. Why don't you take two more seeds? Okay, cool. So, um, there's been a big scandal over the last few days around the Spyro remake. Um, as I'm recording this, I know this happened, like, about a week ago, but I'm recording this pretty far in advance. Uh, the Spyro remake has actually seen a, um... Ooh, okay, I see what I need to do. Uh, YouTubers and reporters such as IGN has actually been given, um, they have been g getting given good old, uh, Spyro, Spyro eggs. Well, eggs in general. It's not Spyro eggs per se, but a lot of people think it's, it's Spyro related, which I, I definitely think it is as well. Like, it's, it's gotta be Spyro related, because, like, the whole Spyro Twitter handle and stuff, it just seems definitely like Spyro. I'm still really excited for the Spyro remake, if it's going to happen. I really want it to happen. By the way, we're going to have to do some Mario antics here. We're going to have to do a uh, a mushroom jump, which uh, 
Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, jump, glide, fl flutter. Yeah, do it again. Boom. How many seeds are actually in this area, by the way? There's so many seeds. So, so many seeds. Okay, let's go back up here. I'm going to pick up the yellow seed first, just because I feel like that's going to be the best one. But yeah, like, the whole scandal with the um, Spyro thing, I really hope it's a thing. Like, I love Spyro the Dragon. I really do, and... If it is actually a thing, I'm going to be absolutely buzzing because I'm so excited for it. By the way, that's, that's that day's in the wrong area, I've noticed. So, uh, retract that. That's got to go in the middle one, if I'm, if I'm correct here. I think it is, yeah. Because we need to get some height on the second one. There's no other way we're going to be able to get height to actually get on t t the top of the wall. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, for God's sake, man. For God's sake, let's get in that hole. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go back and actually get the other two now. Oh, God, oh, God. No, no, no. Balls. I, I thought that was the way we need to go balls i just died i can't believe i just did that i really can't but you know it's fine everyone makes mistakes oh, and he's put me back here god damn it okay let's try this again and not jump off the edge this time i can't believe i just did that i've actually noticed a little glitch with the whole um, seeds over here as well for some reason if i throw this down sometimes it doesn't go in if that makes sense like also that is easily um, an, an easy thing to do to actually jump off the edge i'm guessing loads of people have done that before but, uh, for some reason, you can throw these at the ground, and it takes a while to actually form something. Like, I'll show you over here, like, if you, if you want, I'll go and pick this up now and pop back over here. So, if I go over here and actually try to get this one in the far distance one. Okay, like, let's line it up. Let's, let's try to get a perfect shot here. This, this should be pretty close. It's not. Okay, I'm, I want to show this off to you guys. So as you can see, it's pretty close, and normally that would definitely just fall in. In this case, it doesn't. Like, you have to be close enough for it to actually spawn in. It's, it's weird. It's weird, okay? I don't, I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. Um, actually, I think I might have actually done this in the wrong order again. I, th I think it has to be the, the bomb one first, because, like, yeah, it has to be. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I see what I need to do. So I've done it in the wrong order. It does need to be the, the daisy first, and then the mushroom. And I also know it's hunters up there. Great. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to do some stupid flying around mini game, which is fine. It's fine. I do like those flying around mini games, but what can you do? What if he's the golden goose, by the way? He is, te he is technically golden, isn't he? I don't actually know. Okay, I don't think I can actually make it up here with a flutter. No, how does this work then? Because I definitely need that there. Have I done it in the wrong order again? Like I could have. So I'm gonna take this seed with me here, just so I can keep it with me. Right. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this jump over here. That's the thing. Like, that is too far of a jump to make. Am I doing something wrong here? Like, because I've got, I've got the other seed in my mouth here. I'm wondering, can I swap? I think I can. I could probably swap a seed here. So if I drop... Oh, balls. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to swap one of these for the actual... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I probably could swap one of the daisy seeds for one of these seeds and see if that, I can get up there. Okay, let's try this now. Okay. I think I can make that up there. I really do. Okay, let's try. Yes. Okay. Okay. I don't know if this is how you meant to do it, but I didn't glitch or anything there, so I feel like it is. But my god, like, this challenge is difficult, whatever it is. Okay, let's try this out now. So we're going to be here on three mushrooms. And I feel like this is how you meant to do it. Like, this has to be the way you meant to do it, because... Oh, come on. Oh, I feel like there's no other way for you to get actually get up there, like, with that kind of momentum, because... It just seems impossible, like, it really does. Okay, come on. Come on, get, get me up there. Oh, for God's sake, like, it seems so precise. It seems a bit too precise, you know what I mean? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, come on. There we go, get me on that second one. No, 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 give me that momentum. Come on, I want that momentum. Give me that momentum I need. Okay, I don't know if the longer we stay on it, we actually get a bit more momentum. I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. I just don't know. I really don't. I think I, this is how you got you got to do it, but it's so precise. It really is. Like you just saw, then I literally almost had it in. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, it's not a golden goose. It is actually a golden goose, it's not a hunter. But there we go. We made it up. My God, that is so hard to actually do, man. It's so precise. I was about to look at Warfare to be honest. That is so hard. At last, I found the legendary golden goose. You can have another one of its eggs for a souvenir. Okay, thank you very much. And there we go, we actually get given our second egg, which is Chuck. But my god, like, getting up here to actually get this egg is impossible. Like, if anyone can actually do that without, like, constant trying, it's such a precise jump. That's what I'm trying to say, like, it's it's so annoying to make. 
that kind of jump. By the way, I'm guessing we have to ground pound this. Do we? Yep, okay, and this is actually going to give us the head bash thing over here. But my god, like, it is so difficult to actually get in there. Like, if you, if you haven't played like, this game and you, you try to get in there, yeah, just wait until the trilogy. You guys will see how annoying it is because it is so, so annoying. Like, I just want to have a quick look behind the hut to see if there's anything here because they might have put something there because I know how sneaky some developers are. But we still actually have two more things to actually get here, which, uh, which is fine. It's fine. We're going to go and get them in a minute. Okay, can we make it over, over here? I think I should be able to because my my jumping right now has been perfect. Like, you, you just saw right then. It was amazing. Okay. Next thing I want to go is actually get down here and go, go and get the, this egg over here so I don't forget it. Oh, it's actually Super Flame over here as well, which is great. Okay, let's see what egg we got here. And it's Benjamin. Shout out to my friend Benny. Uh, this is for you. And there you go. You're now free. Be free. That's actually going to put us close to 90. 90 eggs. Bloody hell. Okay. So, uh, these actually return as well. The Dynamite... Cascades. So, so, so if you get close to those parts, by the way, you will take a bit of damage, so be a bit careful when you actually do come through here. It's good, it's good to play a bit more safe. Okay. So, uh, what does this look like? Okay, okay, there's a rocket here, which I'm guessing is going to give... Ah, I see, I see. Okay. So, one of the skill points in this game is to actually um, shoot out all the cats throughout all the level. And some of them are actually in windows, and some of them are actually over there. And uh, we're going to start by actually getting rid of these guys, because these guys are annoying as F. They really are. Okay, there we go. We got rid of them, just, just so we don't really have to deal with them right now. And uh, you, you just heard, like, the rock actually went into the tie over here, which is fantastic. Okay, there's another one right over there. I can't see him game, though. Oh, I got him, I got him. Okay. There is actually something over there as well, which I kind of want to go out and get in a second, but I kind of want to... I actually wish I didn't actually jump, jump out there now, because I know I need to go all the way back around. God damn it! But either way, we actually did destroy a lot of um, a lot of the enemies, so that's good. Uh, it's nice that you have Super Flame, by the way. This Super Flame is definitely going to be relevant to um, the actual skill point we need to get, so be aware of that. Like, you're willing to actually get this thing. Also, it looks like we could just go down here and round. We didn't actually have to go all the way up, but it's fine. It's fine. So I want to make my way over here to actually get on top of this, because it is actually gems over there. I can see them right over there, so uh, let's work on actually getting these. I think we should be able to make it over here to actually get these these gems as well. Come on, come on, yes. Oh my god, this is so precise. This is so sketchy, like, it really is. Like, how sketchy. Oh, by the way, there's actually an egg up here. Mo. Wow, like, that is so precise platforming. I feel like that's why they actually made it so you have to collect the, like, the gems. You have to kill the enemies to get the dragons. Because that, like, that, that would have been difficult to actually get that one. I'm not going to deny that. That would have been really hard. So, I'm pretty sure there's a skill point linked to that over there as well. The, um... The actual platform over there. I feel like we need to actually land on that. Like, there's a skill point linked to land on a certain platform, and I feel like that's going to be it. So let's actually go and try to get on, on it. I hope we can make it. Come on. Come on. No. There is definitely a skill point linked to that tower, though. We need to actually land on it to actually get a skill point. And I'm a bit nervous for that. But it actually does spawn us right back here. So we actually do get, like, we get 25 chances of actually getting this skill point. And I don't know um, how I'm going to do this, but we should get some really good momentum here. Come on, come on. And Flutter, come on. No, I'm literally just missing it. I don't know if this is the way you're meant to do it, but I presume it is. Unless, unless... I, mean, I, I want to actually analyze this a bit more. Okay, this has to be the way you're meant to do it, because... To get that kind of momentum, it's... It's not going to be easy. Like, I don't... I don't know, maybe on the... I'm thinking maybe on the other side, you might be able to actually get some kind of momentum on that side. I just want to try that out. Okay. Okay, let, let's go from this side. Nope, okay. Like, okay, let's try this again. Okay, up, 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 and over here, and I kind of want to try from this, this little platform over here, because I feel like that this is going to be a better angle, I really do. Okay, let's try it, let's uh, zoom over, come on, come on, come on, and Flutter, yes, give me that, and that's going to be our first skill point for actually reaching the impossible tower. My god, that is a hard jump to make, like, that is really hard, but wow, we actually got it done, okay. So, so now we've still got quite a bit more to do, there's still two more eggs, and it's going to be a long episode, this, isn't it? Like, we rode up to 23 minutes, of course, I've got a lot of cutting to do, but... Still, like, we've still got a decent amount of time left in this episode, which is good and bad. Also, I love how the platform's actually all stationary now that we've actually killed some of the cats. That's a good thing. Oh, boulder spawning. How, how nice is that? How nice. Get wrecked. Okay. There's also a uh, good old Zoe 2.0 over here as well, but there we go. Where she has opened up the fort. I don't know if Zoe 2.0's got something to say. I guess she did, and I just kind of interrupted it. Ooh, there's actually a, um, a container there. That's probably going to be for agent, um, not agent. It's going to be probably for the next pie member. Unless it, it might actually be for Bentley, which would be good. It'll be, that will be good. Okay. Let's just keep destroying these guys. And uh, 
Get some more of these good old gems. We've got to be getting close to our actual limit here. I still can't believe Moneybags charge 600 gems for just one thing. Like, how, how annoying is that? Trust Moneybags to be like a, an a-hole and actually charge some stupid prices to try to open up a bridge. And to be honest, I feel like it's a lot more... It's a lot more tight in this game. Like, he, he, literally, he literally will not spend money on anything in this game. And I really don't like that. Like, I hate how, how rich he actually is and how... What the... What the hell? Uh, that seemed a bit like a, a weird glitch. Ooh. Boom. There we go. That's going to open up the next game. I did, why did it just do that? I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Spyro. Isn't Prince Azrael just the dreamiest? And the other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Azrael says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. Okay, so it literally is going to have no relevance to actually us coming here, and that's Sakura, which, uh, I'm not going to lie, it might look like Naruto, I don't know why. I've actually never seen Naruto, so it could actually be a character in Naruto, but it might look like Naruto. But there we go, there goes uh, the princess, and they're going to drive off into the sunset, and, uh, okay, um, okay, that makes zero sense. So it looks like she has the power to, she has the power to, <laughs> I don't know what to say, she has the power to... Really, she's doing that again? She has the power to fly. Well, for God's sake, let me up there. Like, I don't understand why that's so annoying to actually get up, but it is. So, oh, a pot. Okay, the mystery pots have returned. Okay, we'll be going back and getting that in a little bit. But, uh, oh, there's actually an area over here as well, which I almost missed. Thank God, actually came around here. Okay, this is going to be our way to actually get into the base over there, which it looks like Sergeant Bird. Is Sergeant Bird's area, which we haven't actually seen Sergeant Bird in a while, so I said you pop in here. I, yeah, I can't believe we haven't seen him in so long, so we're still gonna play as him now. Good day, Spyro. I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a, uh, an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, she's just a friend, you understand. It's a strictly platonic relationship. It's certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. <clears throat> what? What are you giving me that look for? Okay, let's get started anyway. So it looks like he's got a friend, uh, a really close friend, but let's see what's up with her. What's up? Oh, oh god. I hate how flowy he is, I really do. What's up? Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. Of course I do, yes, yes, I need those gems, I need those gems. So we're back playing as, as good old uh, Sergeant James Bird, which is uh, which is good and bad. So I'm guessing the skill point is definitely linked to him. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's uh, some witches around here. Can we destroy the windows, maybe? No. I, I know there's some other cats in here somewhere. Oh, we can actually destroy the windows, okay. So I'm guessing the, the windows are definitely um, what we need to destroy then. I thought it was actually just like characters in general, but I'm guessing it's going to be windows we need to destroy. Also, how come they, how come the cats are witches? I don't know. Um, oh my god, I've actually got some uh, decent attack. By the way, yes, it is a skill point. Oh, I see those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. Okay, so we did actually get a skill point there. You can see it did pop up, so we have to destroy all the windows in the cat area thing. That, that's how we actually get the skill point, which is nice to know. I love how we can literally just spam him here and actually, like, you can probably get, like, one or two kills. We've got invi invincibility frames here. Okay, just keep shooting, just keep shooting. We're going to get one of them at least. Oh, come on. Come on, this is BS. Okay, we've got three out of the, out of the ten. That's not too bad. Also, the fact that they're going to be chasing me around anyway, it's going to be great. Also, th they do, like, zero damage to us. Yes, it, one just hit me there, but other than that, these guys don't really do that much damage where you are. Okay, come on. Come on, there they go. It also looks like they, do, they don't chase you down once you actually get close to them. I must admit, James, I am impressed. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They even turned the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, be careful, okay? See, blue ooze, we do actually have the infinite flying power up. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready for you. Okay, th there's another ten of them. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go crazy here and just go, go for them as soon as I see them. It it's gonna be easy to actually do it, by the way. It's, it's oh god, they are getting pretty aggressive now, aren't they? Okay, they are pretty aggressive indeed. Okay, this is good. Oh my god, he actually got a good hit on me there. Okay, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, I just died. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are aggressive, like, they really are. Oh no, don't, don't make me redo it all, please. I think I'm gonna have to redo it all, aren't I? Don't make me redo it all, please. Where have you been, it's gonna make me redo it all, isn't it? 
yeah, I'm gonna have to redo it all, sadly. But now I know what to expect. So it looks like you can stockpile skill points here as well. Uh, I just want to mention that now. I just, I just tried to get it again. You can actually get just stockpile skill points. So if you want to get many skill points, you can do. Um, it means that you can't really die during this minigame if you just keep destroying the glass. So that's, that's a pretty cool thing, isn't it? Okay, we've got no HP and we've, we've killed four of them. This is going to be close. It, these guys are really aggressive. Like, they are crazy aggressive. If, if, if you don't handle them quickly, they can do a lot of damage to you like that. God damn it. So my strategy for this level now is actually to save the skill point till right at the end, until I really need to actually destroy some windows, because, like, <laughs> I'm dying too much. Okay, we're going to try this again. So we've got 3 HP and we haven't actually activated the skill point yet in this room, so this could be good. These guys are a lot more aggressive though, but what I've, I've noticed is you shouldn't really move that often to actually kill these guys. You should kind of just, just hope for the best, you know, and make them come to you. Only reason I'm actually moving right now is just so I can actually defend myself if needed by hitting the goddamn... Um, sign which i'm gonna do right now and give me that skill point so it's gonna heal me back up back to full hp now which is fantastic but these guys do a lot of damage like the amount of ag how aggressive these guys are in this little mini game is ridiculous no 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 don't you dare come i should have been hit there by the way by that witch but either way okay there's one left come on yes we did it yes yes you did it james i knew you weren't the leader of the hummingbird resistance movement for nothing now we have the temple all to ourselves but first i have a present for you Ooh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, it's an egg, great. But my god, that challenge is difficult. I hate it, man, I hate it, but fantastic. We actually got a, a good old uh, egg sword. That means we've got all six eggs here, we've got all skill points so far. We are still missing a few gems. No idea where they are, <laughs> but uh, let's see how many we're missing. Then we're gonna have a walk around and see if we can find them. We do actually have the Sparks ability here. We went missing 17, so the Sparks ability should show us where they are, hopefully, but how many of you guys wanna find them? So I'm trying to use the Sparks ability, and for some reason, oh, I know where it is. It's 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 the pot, isn't it? It's the pot the 17 would miss. That's why. I would say because it doesn't like whenever I try the Sparks ability, it never works for some reason, and I don't know why. It just never does. Um, and I kind of see why now because it's not really. I'm not looking for gems. I'm looking for the mysterious question mark container which keeps teleporting over all over level. What? Did you see that by the way? What the f? I went through the whirlwind. What? What? Okay, let's try this again now. So there's the first one hit. How many times have you seen a question mark pot hit? Quite a few in this episode. Quite a few times. Okay. What we need to do is we need to get back over to that area. I don't know how we're going to do it. Um, we could always aim for the slope down the bottom, I guess. Um, it looks like it's going to be instant death. That's the thing. Okay, let's go around here. Let's go around here. Because I don't know how we're going to get out of the castle then. How, how are we going to get out of the castle? Oh my god, that is such a precise jump. Did you just see that? How the F did I just make that? I, do, I, do, I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of these jumps in this level is so precise. Also, the blues is into death when you're playing a Spyro. It's not when you're playing a second bird, though. But, my god, this level is so platform heavy. It is ridiculously difficult to actually complete. And I'm kind of glad I actually got everything done. I know I've died a few times here and there, but nobody's perfect, you know. As uh, Hannah Montana says, nobody's perfect. You live and you learn it, you know, and that's how I feel like I've done. Where is that last pot, by the way? Um, is it not around here? It might be actually in the little hole over there. I actually want to hit Zoe, just in case I die here, because <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay, hit me there. Boom. Okay, okay. My ad, this level's actually taken me a while to actually beat. I've been recording for 40 minutes now on this one level. This level's huge. It really is. Okay. Yeah, it's right there in the actual tunnel, which, which is fine. We can easily get into there anyway. It's not that much. So it's not that hard getting in there, but this level just reminds me a lot like Magic Crafters, um, with the whole um, bombers, pits, insta death, you know, fairies. From the first game, I'm kind of glad I actually returned to his heritage. Don't, don't get me wrong, I, did, I didn't really like that game in the um, in the first game, but it's good to actually have a level back which is similar, you know, a level which, which yes, I didn't like it when, when, when I was younger, but I can, I like the, the nostalgia feel of it. I like that they're actually going back to their roots, you know. And I actually have no idea where this last this next pot is. I'm guessing it's going to be down here, maybe. Nope. By the way, we're going to pick up Super Flame because I love me some Super Flame. I really do. One thing I really wish in the Spyro remake, whenever it comes out, if it does come out, that is, that actually incorporates Super Flame to actually be a constant power of you 100% every single game. Because that would be sweet. Imagine having, like, imagine having Super Flame constantly. It's not down here. I thought, oh, it's not. I thought, I thought it might be. Okay, it's not down here, then. Like, like just imagine having Super Flame constantly. That, that would be sweet. It really would be. Like... Don't deny it. 
We're all thinking how cool that would be, and I agree. I think it would be absolutely cool at AF. Okay, I love how, like, do you think we could actually have just... I, th I think we could have literally just sequence break earlier on in the game and just went straight down there because that definitely seems like something. Also, there's that platform right below us. Oh, it must... I I don't know. Do you think we could have sequence break breaked to get right to the end? I might actually try that at the end of this episode, you know, because I'm really curious. But, oh, there it is. Easy mistake there. One thing to be aware of whenever you go for these mystery ports, they always seem to go, like, further back each time. So, like, that's how you should know where you're going, just, um... Each time you go in there, it's just a bit further back from on the previous attempt. So it, it kind of spaces out a little bit, doesn't it? But there we go, that's going to put us right at the start. And, uh, and yeah, that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. Okay. And uh, this should just be right on the bottom here. So let's just go turn around and it should be right in here. Boom. And is that right at the end? No, it is literally still going back like 10 feet. Oh, okay. This is going to be a hard jump to do, by the way. I should have expected it to actually take us back to the start because that is a hard jump to make to start with. Okay, I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier than the impossible tower we actually had to go on earlier on. But uh, let's, let's do a quick glide and uh, there we go. And give me all those gems. G give me my 17 I need, please. Please be all the gems I need. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. So, what I wanna do really quickly is I just wanna leave this world and come back into it. I wanna see if I can sequence break uh, and actually get right to the end here. More of an experiment. If I can't, I can't. If I can, fantastic. But wait, well, there we go. We actually get another 600 gems. And to be honest, it's been one of the longest levels in Spyro history, I think. That is so long. So, so long. But there we go. We're actually heading back to Evening Lake. And I just want to go dive straight back in. Oh, cutscene, though. What's Honda going to do here? What the hell? Is that a switch? <laughs> so, Honda's been captured. Of course he has, hasn't he? So, uh, before we actually go and actually investigate that, I want to go back into Charmed Ridge. And I want to do a bit of exploration here. I want to see, can we sequence break? Because... I know Insomniac Games doesn't like it, but I want to see if it's possible. Like, can we actually just break the game straight off? And as you can see, everything is already complete, so we should be able to actually run straight through to the end. But I feel like we should literally be able to get straight to the end instantly, don't you think? Okay, let's uh, say balls this and actually just fly over here. Okay. I feel like you could. I feel like you could. Um, I don't know if, like, in the game you can, but I feel like it's definitely possible to actually just break the game. Done. I, I, I do feel like it is possible. But now that we've actually finished another world, I think next time we're going to go and investigate uh, Hunter's disappearance. Because I don't know if there's actually anything we can do in the world, but I want to have a look around here. So, if you enjoyed this video, please go like and we really appreciate it. And so, see you guys next time. We're going to have a look around so we can actually find anything to do with Hunter and probably play another level. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.